Maddie Kate Cosplay, and I'm here to give you guys some fun tips and tricks about cosplay and how I started. When I started cosplaying, it was a big art form for me. I loved being in character. I loved being the characters I loved. Um, being able to do makeup, hair, and wigs, it was very theatrical for me, and it gives me a lot of joy being able to portray the characters that I love so dearly. The first character I cosplayed was Jalal from Fairy Tale. I dyed my hair blue and I used my mom's makeup to give myself a little tattoo on my eye. And I was so happy with it. And then I discovered you could buy costumes or make your own costumes. And so I started getting into the art form of cosplay itself. How old? Oh, I was probably 13, 14. I'm 22 now, so it's been a long time since then. Really what keeps me motivated is seeing so many different people in the cosplay community, their perspectives, their ideas, their creativity really gives me the drive to continue what I do, um, as well as new media coming out. I love seeing new shows, new characters to interact uh, really personally with me with, and those I want to portray and share with the world. Um, especially my brother. My brother motivates me a lot because he cosplays with me a lot of the time, and I have my community and my friends who do the same. My brother and I are twins, and so we like to cosplay Aether and Lumaine from Genshin Impact. We like to cosplay Dipper and Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls, uh, Edric and Amira from The Owl House, and a lot more. Um, those are some of our favorite things to do. Uh, a lot of the times we'll cosplay different characters at conventions just because we have different interests. But when we do have the same interests, we try to do twin characters because it's, it's a lot more personal to us. When I go to conventions and I'm looking at other cosplays and I'm trying to make my own for a convention, I try to make sure uh, I focus on comfort and uh, mobility at its finest. Right now I'm in power because she's very comfortable. Um, the hair gives me a little bit of trouble, but uh, it's, it's cozy for a last day of con cosplay. Um, definitely comfort's my first priority so if I'm gonna do anything extravagant I'll probably do it in the second day when it's the most people around so I could share my efforts with everyone um, and also focus on making memories making sure everyone else around me is having fun um, giving time to the people who come to visit me when I'm guesting at conventions because their support means the world to me the hardest cosplay I did was probably oh goodness gracious um, maybe my jinx from arcane because uh, her long, long braids tend to get caught on every little nook and cranny of my costume. So I have to pull it apart and then the wig gets messed up. And every time I bring her to a con, I have to go home and fix her up for the next one. Um, anything that has to do with uh, the weather as, as well. Doing cosplays uh, around a certain weather can very much dictate what I wear. Because um, I can get too hot or too cold. But Jinx is definitely a very difficult one for me. One of the cosplays that make me the happiest, even though Jinx is my hardest cosplay, she brings me the most joy. I really resonate with her character, not in a way most people really think, because a lot of people like her psychotic nature. But uh, I watched her through the series Arcane, where she uh, battled hardships that I also really fought with, uh, especially with family. And I really admired seeing that in the perspective of a protagonist. Um, but yeah. To my fans or any anime fans out there, um, just don't let the community, don't let people who think you can't do it stop you. you if you want to cosplay a character but you don't want to wear makeup, that's okay. If you want to cosplay a character and not wear a wig, that's completely okay. No one can say you're not cosplaying a character just because you don't look like them. You can slap on a wig and have the best time of your life because you're portraying a character you love. And that's all that matters as long as you're having fun. Um, you know, followers, social media, a lot of that nowadays is very big in the cosplay community. But once you really get into the nitty gritty of your community socially uh, in real time, uh, not behind a screen, that's what makes it worth it for me.